we moved from Midtown Manhattan, where we were very active members of our uh, wonderful Central Synagogue congregation. Uh, and uh, we thought we would be able to participate in a Jewish life. Uh, Dartmouth College is 45 minutes away, and there's a Jewish community there. But what we found was, you know, everybody knows the winters in Vermont aren't so nice. It's okay to drive over for 45 minutes to go to services. It's coming back in the dark and snow and sleet and ice. That's uh, not so wonderful. We also realized that there were only two families, two households, from the town of Woodstock that were participants in the Upper Valley Jewish community, as it's called, the Upper Connecticut River Valley. And what we saw was, you got to bring God to the Jews. It's got to be accessible. It's got to be part of your community. But really as simple as, you've got to bring God to the Jews. We had a need to have a Jewish community. And we thought about it and we said, you know, there got to be Jews around here. You may know the phrase Judenrein, free of Jews, Hitler's great uh, goal in life. People thought that central Vermont was Judenrein, that there were no Jews there. There were plenty of Jews there. They just were completely alienated or had no access to a way to lead a Jewish life. So my wife and I thought about it and we came up with the idea of developing a community, at this point we didn't think of it as a congregation, that was based on the idea of accessibility. Locally available, but eliminating all of the barriers to participation in Jewish life. Dues. Why are dues a barrier? It's not just economic. It isn't just the money. Many people find dues really offensive. But it's the way synagogues get supported. Many Jews find dues as a good excuse for not participating in Jewish life. I mean, I gotta pay to pray? It's a good excuse. And in central Vermont, many of our Jewish families are interfaith families. And for people who come from a Christian background, the idea of dues is completely alien. Now, there are cultural reasons for this. There are economic reasons. There are religious reasons. We don't pass the plate on Shabbos for very good reason. Historically, and even in, while even in Reformed congregations, there may be a tzedakah box into which you can put money on Shabbos. Nobody's passing the plate. Christian churches, they are passing the plate. They have a deeper tradition of tithing than we do. Lots of historical reasons not to be gone into now. For the Christian member of that family or household, dues? I gotta pay to pray? Complete turnoff. So no dues. Second, no commitment. Dues is saying, I, I'm joining, I'm signing up, I'm a member. Well, make it easy. You want to come? Come. You don't want to come? Don't come. Third, we have learned throughout the Jewish community to be welcoming to the other of another faith. That's not enough. What we felt, Antoinette and I, was it's not enough to say, your, your, your non-Jewish other is welcome. It is important for those in the congregation to make them feel welcome. There's a big difference. Say, oh, you're tolerated versus you're appreciated. Come, be part of us. Now, you, you can't say some of the things we say, but you, share, you can share our values. Our, value, our wisdom of our tradition can inform your life. And so we eliminated all of these barriers to participation. And people came. People came. And so today, 21 years later, 
we have over 50 children in our religious school. It's free. There's no charge. In fact, the books are given to the children without charge. And what we're saying to people is, if you like it, if it speaks to your life, if it is meaningful for you, vote with your feet, come, be part of this community, and support it financially to the best of your ability. Now, over the years, we've had people who have worried terribly about, well, maybe somebody's getting away with something, they're not contributing. It doesn't work that way. You know, people are inherently good. And if you trust that goodness, they just may surprise you. The second is, oh, there must be some very rich people who are really paying for everything. And that's not the case either. Yes, thank God we have had some wonderful angels who have supported major projects. But I once added it up, and as I'm the only one over the years who knows who has given and what, because we never have asked people individually for money. We do plenty of asking. We remind people this depends on their generosity. But we don't sit down and say, you know, the old card calling, Schleimi gave. Uh, we say to people, no. Do you realize that only about 30%, 25 to 30%, of all the money that has been donated to the congregation since we started has come in large gifts. We would welcome a large gift. And then the other is, well, you've been able to do this because you don't have big expenses. I was the lay spiritual leader for 19 years. I worked cheap. Uh, when they wouldn't double my salary, I said it was time to move on. But uh, at every stage, so many people who should have been supportive said, literally, you'll fail, you'll fail. You'll see, as your expense, when you have to have a building, you'll fail, you'll have to have dues. Well, we now have two buildings, four acres. We built a sanctuary that seats 230 people. Uh, we will have it, it will be overflowing for Yanta. But more importantly, last week on Labor Day weekend, there were over 40 people for Friday evening services. And next Sunday, when religious school starts, there will be over 50 kids there. And they come from 30 to 40 miles around. And that ain't easy during the winter. 30 to 40 miles around, week after week to give their children a Jewish education. And we even have a teenage group that continues. So Judaism has to be brought to people. It has to be available. If you know anything about the development of suburbs in America, suburbs did not grow and then highways were built. No, highways were built and suburbs grew. Availability creates demand. Availability of the Woodstock, Vermont area Jewish community has caused people to come back to Judaism. The availability of an educational program has caused people to bring their children. The availability of the synagogue and the community has caused people to move to our community.